10 Best Places to Visit in Ethiopia Hello Desplorers, welcome to another exciting video presented to you by Desplor. In this video, we shall be taking you to Ethiopia, shining the light on the 10 best places to visit in Ethiopia. Ethiopia is a landlocked country in the Horn of Africa. It shares borders with Eritrea to the north, Djibouti to the northeast, Somalia to the east, Kenya to the south, South Sudan to the west and Sudan to the northwest. With over 109 million inhabitants, Ethiopia is the most populous landlocked country in the world and the second most populous nation on the African continent. The country has a total area of 1,100,000 square kilometers and its capital and largest city is Addis Ababa. Ethiopia's GDP is at $103.607 billion, while the GDP per capita is $1,066. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Ethiopia's tourism has grown very drastically to become one of its major contributors of its $103.607 billion GDP and leading to better knowledge of most of its touristic sites. There are many of them but some truly stand out because of their exceptional appeal. So in no particular order, here are the 10 best places to visit in Ethiopia. Number 10. Bale Mountains National Park the Bale Mountains are a portion of the Ethiopian highlands. They incorporate Tulu Demtu, the second elevated mountain in Ethiopia, and Mount Batu. The Wei River, a headwater of the Juba River, mounts in these mountains east of Goba. The Bale Mountains National Park spreads over 2,200 square kilometers of these mountains. The main draws of the park are the wild alpine landscape and the comparative ease with which tourists can find distinctive birds and mammals. The Bale Mountains are the abode to plenty of Ethiopia's endangered animals, particularly the Ethiopian wolf, seen on the Saneti Plateau. The park also holds the Harena Forest, located to the south of the mountains, which is a mostly unexplored region thought to hold plenty of undetected types of reptiles, as well as lions, leopards, and different kinds of antelopes. The biggest group of Ethiopian wolves is seen in this spot. The habitats here are fascinating, and the outer edges of the national park have fortress-like pinnacles, and on one mountain top there is a vast barren plateau. In other areas there are rainforests and Afro-Alpine forests. Number 9. Danakil Depression Located in the frontier between Ethiopia and Eritrea is the Danakil Depression. It's formerly one of the aridest and warmest spots on earth. Danakil Depression contains three main things to see. Miles and miles of salt plains, neon green sulfuric acid lakes and Erta Alley. The lava lake at Eta Ali is one of the only six lava lakes on Earth and will leave you in awe. The multicolored hydrothermal bubbling lakes and great salt pans will amaze you and have you question if you are still on planet Earth. The site is also rich in fossils of ancient hominid. The famed fossil of Lucy was found in this area in 1974. The Danakil Depression is described by one traveler who had trekked for almost a year in 10 different African countries as the best thing in all of Africa also goes by other names such as Gateway to Hell, since it is the hottest place on earth. Number 8. Aba Minch Aba Minch is most famous for its unbelievable huge Nile crocodiles that measure up to 18 feet long. There are over 8,000 of them in the lake, so it won't be hard to spot them. There is also a beautiful national park filled with many animals. Aba Minch in Amharic means 40 springs, and the area is rich in many tiny springs that bubble up from the ground. You can see many of them as you hike through Nekisa National Park. The most incredible sight in Abaminch is a cliff-top holy spot of Abuna Yemata Church, which is found only after a mildly challenging climb up the sheer cliff wall. Views from the church are remarkable, and inside this ancient holy church, you will find beautiful and well-preserved free schools that adorn two cows. With so many excitement, you can rest at Paradise Lodge, which is the relaxation, you need after seeing such exotic and frightening wildlife. Number 7. Aksum Aksum is one of the oldest cities in all of Africa and is rich in legend and mystery. It is believed to be the home of the Queen of Sheba and the final resting place of the legendary Ark of the Covenant. Unfortunately, visitors are not allowed into the church where the Ark is said to be, but you can still check out the ancient Aksumite obelisk found in the northern Stele field. The largest obelisk was recently returned to Ethiopia by the Italian government where it sat for decades after it was taken to Italy during World War II. Its ruins and ancient legends will fascinate any lover of history. 
In addition to legends of Sheba and the Ark, locals believe that the roughly hewn tomb of solid rock of King Bazin was actually Balthazar, and the Magi carried news of Christ's birth to Ethiopia. While there, don't miss my shum, a big rock-carved water body that native tribes think the Queen of Sheba utilized as her bath. Number 6. Simeon Mountains The Simeon Mountain Range is a nominated UNESCO World Heritage Site and a wonderful tourist attraction which is accordingly familiar as God's Playfield. A trek along the slope offers one of the most extraordinary panoramas in the country. You're also assured to run into a crowd of the Gelada Bleeding Heart baboons. Inside the Simeon National Park is a broad diversity of wildlife like the Walia Ibex, a goat seen nowhere else on earth. Seemingly on top of the world at an altitude of around 3,500 to 4,350 meters, the Simeon Mountains are simply stunning. You can see for hundreds of miles, and there are canyons plunging hundreds of meters into valleys with rivers and waterfalls. A new lodge in the Simeons has recently been opened, perched on the edge of the escarpment, which is a beautiful place to stay for those visiting Ethiopia's Simeon Mountains National Park. It provides simply yet luxury accommodations in these stunningly beautiful mountains, whilst promoting sustainable tourism with minimal environmental impact, and provides new opportunities to the local community. Number 5. Addis Ababa Addis Ababa is the fourth largest city in Africa and the capital city of Ethiopia, and it is perfect for a night's rest after a long flight. And there is a beautiful luxury hotel here where you can recuperate. Many call it the epicenter of Africa because the African Union is headquartered in this place. Addis Ababa has the biggest bazaar in Africa, magnificent cathedrals, churches and mosques, and the museums. If you'd like to explore the city, one of the best places to visit is the National Museum, which holds the fossilized remains of the most famous Australopithecus afairesis, Lucy, who is around 3.3 million years old. Day trips from Addis Ababa should include Entoto Mountains, the crater lakes at Debre Zayit, and the hot springs at Awash National Park. Pamper yourself by staying at the Sheraton Addis, where you would be treated like royalty in one of Africa's few five-star resorts. Also visit the Mikato, which is the largest open-air market in Africa, and have your senses awakened with the smell of pungent spices and roasting coffee. At night, the city comes alive with a vibrant nightlife and restaurant serving exotic Ethiopian cuisine. Number 4. Gonda Nestled in the highlands of northern Ethiopia, you find the fabled city of Gonda. Once you have reached Ras Dashin, the highest peak in the spectacular Simeon Mountains, you'll be able to marvel at Gonda, the Camelot of Africa. The 18th century of Ethiopia was Gonda, where the then Emperor Fasiladas established his legendary fortresses. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is today a beautiful museum compound and a wonderful tourist attraction in Ethiopia that exhibits the final centuries of the country's kings. No visit to Gonda is complete without a visit to Debre Bahan Selazi Church, with its angel-painted ceiling. Wonderful shopping, eateries and hotels are all accessible in this place. Number 3. Bahida The third biggest town and first halt on the historic track in Ethiopia is Bahida. The vibe in the city is serene and the adjacent lake and monasteries just add to this. If you haven't passed time relaxing by the lake, then you haven't enjoyed the true Bahida experience. This city of Lake Tana is famous for two reasons. First, the lake is filled with multiple little islands. On each island is an orthodox monastery that you can visit. Rent or boat for half a day and visit several of them. The other famous things to see are the Blue Nile Falls. Depending on when you go, it can be quite beautiful if it's just after the rainy season. It marks the start of the Blue Nile and a very special sight to see. You wander at the Tankwa Canoe, an apparently light vessel created out of woven papyrus which is totally unsinkable. Number 2. Omo Valley The Omo Valley is probably the most famous area in Ethiopia thanks to National Geographic magazines that have captured these unique looking tribes. Here you can connect with one of more than a dozen indigenous people that live in the region. The valley is dependent on the Omo River to live as it feeds the dry savanna that supports the local communities. Each of the villages has their own customs and language and has lived basically the same lifestyle for centuries. The Morusi and Hama are proud people who adorn themselves in unusual body art and jewelry and cattle are vital to their existence. Go to Dazanash village. Try not to gaze at the Morsi incredible lip plates or see the leaping of the bull ceremony with the hammer. 
The area itself is a beautiful open grassy plain leading up to jungles in the hills. And if you're fascinated, you can also attempt an African safari while you're in this place. If you come in person though, you might get to witness a bull jumping ceremony. This is when young men would jump naked three times over the backs of bulls. It's a rite of passage to adulthood and one that he must pass if he wants to get married. They are also very territorial and will fiercely defend their land and way of life. Number 1. Lalibela Lalibela is home to 11 sunken rock carved churches created in the 12th and 13th centuries. These were painstakingly carved out of solid rock in four groups. The churches all have their own story and many are linked often by dark tunnels. Lalibela is probably everyone's favorite town to visit. It has three magical rock hewn churches. Near the small town of Lalibela, there are 11 medieval churches which are all carved out of massive slabs of volcanic rock. The churches were built in the 12th century under the direction of King Lalibela. He had a vision of a new Jerusalem for Christians who were prevented from making the pilgrimage to the Holy Land because of Muslim conquests across the region. Today, it is still a popular pilgrimage site for Coptic Christians. This UNESCO World Heritage Site also has beautiful surrounding mountains that are great for trekking and stargazing. There is also a world famous restaurant called Ben Abebe that looks like a winding cement structure that allows each guest a 360 degree of the nearby mountains. There you have it explorers, those were the 10 best places to visit in Ethiopia. Thanks for watching this video. If you want us to cover any of your top 10 topics, leave a suggestion in the comment and we will do well to grant your request. Also, if you did enjoy this video, do well to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.